Okay. Consummate. So, uh, when Jake went and saw That's My Boy With Me, um, I said that I ordered him a children's film, and he decided to cash in on planes, which I suppose it could have been worse. Um. <laughs> no, it could no. You, want, you want to do your stick? <laughs> no, no, you go ahead. Alright. So, uh, the movie Planes is about some planes. One in particular is a crop duster who wants to be a racing plane. His name is Dusty McDusterson. St. Clair. Was... <laughs> I don't that remember. Was it was name. Dusty something something. Dusty St. Clair. So. It's not Dusty St. Clair. It's Dusty St. Clair. <laughs> So he enters the race and does some stuff, makes some friends, and learns some life lessons and wins a race. The end. Well, I can say this we're review done. a success. No, well, because like I was mentioning outside that I actually like this one more than Cars, and that's damning with faint praise, I'll, I'll admit, because I really didn't like Cars. Um, it was basically Doc Hollywood all over again, and mm. not uh, Michael J. Fox charming. Because Lightning McQueen was just a reprehensible human being. Whereas uh, Dusty St. Clair was at least like, he was like the lo sort of likable yokel. And uh, he was voiced by Dane Cook, which I'm not like, I don't have the hatred twitch that some people seem to off of him. You know, he's like, his comedy was good and then it was bad and then I think it got kind of good lately. I've listened to some. I, I know he's like, like a, a style biter. I understand. Uh, it's like it's some of his early stuff. It was all right. Like it, he had a few stand ups that I that I've seen and that I've heard that I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And then I just just kind of lost interest. He's a little broy, but I, you know it's not it's not like one eight hundred dentist bad. She's the gauge for me of people I want to punch in the face. Who? You don't? Do you remember those one eight hundred dentist commercials they used to have? Or was like this. Like smug bitch personified with like a headset. And she's like, "Wanna hunt your dentist? Uh, Never yeah, yeah. to the dentist of your choice." I, I hated her. I hated her so much. So like, she's like some people. For, it's like progressive flow for me. It's the one hundred dentist lady, but he's not. He's not that bad. So anyway, um, he actually did a pretty good job voice acting wise. There were some uh, really really hacky lines that I think actually like he improved with earnestness and self deprecation, but uh. Yeah, he, you know, there's, like, lovable Rube, who is, like, uh, basically rubing his way through the racing community, and, like, um, there was John Cleese Airplane, who he, like, saved at one point. Yeah. And there was, uh, Luchador Airplane, who he helped woo French-Canadian French Airplane. French-Canadian Airplane. And, like, just making friends and learning lessons and just, and then he won a race. He wasn't like, he they did, he wasn't a douchebag at any point. He was just, he was just some guy. What's some plane? With a can-do attitude. He's just like a, just gumption to the, <laughs> and gumption to the stars. cans and cans of moxie. <laughs> but it was, uh, very, very punterific. And it, th there were some points where I wasn't so much laughing at the movie as I was laughing at your reactions to my reactions to the post <laughs> of the movie. Well, because there was like a, there was an anchor plane, no, there was an anchor car. There was an anchor car. Named Brett Mustangburger. <laughs> and he was a Mustang. <laughs> and it didn't make any sense, and so I laughed, and I looked over and Jake's like, <laughs> <laughs> so I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> And uh, there was this point where, like, um, uh, Dusty Dusterson gets his antenna knocked off, and so he kind of gets, like, lost out in the Pacific Ocean, and so he, like, runs into some military planes, and they take him into an aircraft car carrier, and the name of it was the Dwight D. Fleisenhauer. <laughs> and it was the same situation of, like, oh, okay, oh, God, J.K. that one. <laughs> I did not <laughs> approve of those. Because CJ gets like the Dwight D. Eisenhower. I get it. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, yes, because they're all airplanes. It's the... It's the Fleisenhower. It's the fucking Fleisenhower. They, they kept saying Fleisenhower, and I kept laughing every time. But yeah, just, just stuff like that. You can't... You're not allowed to laugh your ass off at the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 preview. 
And I, I'm getting mad at Dwight D. Fly now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I can. Because with the Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, the first one and what the second one looks like is, yeah, it's full of puns. They're all over the place. But they beat you over the face with it and make it so goddamn obvious what they're doing that they're making fun of it, which I thoroughly enjoy. I know. I'm just saying doing, there were a couple points in this movie that I did laugh. There were there were a couple points that you did genuinely laugh, which made me laugh because <laughs> you're laughing at something ridiculous, and that always makes like me laugh. silly things. I know you do. Um, but okay, uh, I wanted to address... Um, a while ago I read uh, this theory on the internet that someone had that... Um, a lot of the Pixar movies are meant to be canonical, like exist in the same universe, like uh, Toy Story, and then the Cars yeah, movies, yeah. and then Wally. The um, theory being that you know after Toy Story, um, there's some references to the other movies in Toy Story, so they're they're saying that you know between Toy Story and Cars, like humanity ended up s s so polluting the world that the cars and the vehicles gained sentience, and so the humans blasted off into you know in their fat people spaceship, and then the cars kind of took over from there, and then the cars um, polluted it so much that it ended up being like the desolate wasteland that Wally ended up having to smoosh into cubes. And I thought that there were a lot of things in this movie that lent credence to that particular theory, and maybe I was reading too much into it, but like, stuff like, they were in India, and like, there were like, stupid stuff like the tractor cows, but there was also the Taj Mahal. Which is a structure that doesn't make any sense in a Cars universe because the Cars can't get into like 95% of the structure. There's like spires uh, yeah, with little rooms at the yeah. tops of the spires. Th these cars are using iPads. And there's a scene where there's like a bunch of different forklifts using the same iPad and they're fumbling it around because it's not fucking built for forklifts. You know, there's, there's so much. But it was their. What do they call it? Fly pad. It, it was, was a fly pad. It was a fly pad. <laughs> yeah, but first of all, the forklift shouldn't have been using it then. But yeah, it's just like all this technology that's not meant for cars. <laughs> it must have been. <laughs> Wait a second. Can we go back and address that little moment that you just had for a second? The well, cars are not allowed to use it because it's a fly well, they pad. They should be using like fork pads or I forks. I, look, I don't have I don't have the skill, the word smithery that whoever wrote this movie obviously did, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, no, I get it. Word word smithery. Go, cars aren't allowed to use plane stuff. Yes, exactly, because mm -hmm. planes are. Uh, um, this the superior being exactly, this particular exactly. Gotcha. Well, it, you, you had to notice that like all the like land vehicles were in positions of subservience. Mm -hmm. You know, because there was like that. there was like the his one car buddy that was basically in charge of following him around and changing his oil and shit. There was like the forklifts that were basically like these weird little like subservient manservants that like followed the planes around and like dragged them places when they needed to. And like there were a couple points where there was you know cars within the airplane cast, um, like a uh, Mustang Burger, and the cars on those porta potties at the end, which we'll get into that in a second. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, just like the, there was like the plane cast, and then the cars cast, and then the forklift cast, and then the tractor cows. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, they were in India. Tractor, tractor cows, cows are, are sacred. sacred in India because there's a theory that you die and get reincarnated as a tractor uh, cow. You get recycled. Oh, recycled. As uh, a tractor car. Dusty LaRue believes in recycling. He believes in recycling. <laughs> so, okay, um, we could do the potty humor because I was like, I was like, I don't usually, like, do like the loudest sides during the movies like the boys tend to do when it's a particularly stupid one but I did that for this because they kept making fart jokes these cars and cars don't fart <laughs> and it was they also don't bugging the crap out of me they also don't breathe on the water and when they had he was the, like he's holding he's his holding, like cheek pooches he's like this and he's he has a snorkel that's all he has what are you he doing had a snorkel he had a snorkel I, I looked at it I was like why are they doing this again why does he have to breathe? He's a fucking car. I don't get this. Because, uh, like, the because fart that... jokes, because he's crop dusters, so they're kind of like, hee 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 hee. But why would they get that joke? They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They also wouldn't be using porta potties. There's, like, these big car shape. Because, like, at the end, there's, like, the douchebag uh, racer the X. The douchebag gets his 80s up comments. And, like, so, like, um, 
Dusty Dusterson crosses the finish line and like pulls this suave move. And uh, douchebag airplane smashes comically into these like giant car-shaped porta potties and like knocks the top off, and the cars are like, "Oh, I was pooping!" and like gets motor oil on him, and they're all making fun of him like it's the car equivalent of poo. So I guess maybe they were in there changing their changing oil. Changing their oil. At a race? I don't know. Just on the go? <laughs> like you do with the car? <laughs> well, I mean, when when my car's oil gets really dirty, I'd, I love just go ahead and drain it on out. It's <laughs> 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 like the car, my car is pooing. <laughs> so fucking stupid. And... and in this Cars universe, the, the the cars are very humanized. All the all the machines, pretty much are. Um, so that makes th that war scene really really graphic, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the same goddamn like issue I had shit. when I saw from Cars Two with the oil rig and the brutal deaths. There's a scene where the cranky old plane who just happens to be in this run podunk ass town where Dusty McDusterson happens to live. Convenient. Just follow the same fucking thread as cars. Why not? And so, um yeah, it, old dude doesn't fly, doesn't fly, doesn't fly. You find out later it's because he's the most incompetent military leader on the planet so there should be a reason why your stupid ass is grounded so here's what happens he starts telling this story um, of a squadron of all rookies led by him he was the one who trained them so he's a officer of some sort they're doing recon mission all right this is World War two the clouds part and there's like a little enemy ship and the rookies are like come on Come on, Commander, let's go get him. It's just one ship. It's like a sitting duck. No, said the Commander. We need to stay on course. You know, it's our objective is recon. Oh, but come on, we come want on. to. All right, boys, why don't we just go in and take a look at the... Holy shit, it's the whole fleet! And then you see a firefight, like a naval old-school firefight. And you see his squadron just, just these rip, 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 blam, <laughs> blam, dead, dead. fucking shell-shocked flying through the yeah, air. Skipper's, huh, oh fuck. My boys, no. My boys, no, my boys, blame, blame, blame. War as hell. <laughs> Apparently war as hell, even when there's no people. <laughs> when there's no people, because they're all humanized. And that's, that scene, like, when we were watching it, like, when we were going, I was like, oh my god. Was, I mean, you can't help it. You know, it's it's obviously that they're humanized, so you you just then, watched just a squadron of human beings equivalent die. <laughs> kind of brutal. And it's not like they're squeamish about they were squeamish about showing uh, Luchador plane and um, Qu Quebecois Qu oh, cool. plane uh, Mickey Audi because like he's he's trying to woo her with his Spanish style flair and she's having none of it so he ends up singing her uh, like a mariachi version of I'm just a love machine so I'm just a love machine and um, and so she she t she digs it so they sh like he keeps coming onto scene with like the big comical like kissy marks on him off of an airplane, which I think could... You remember when James and the Giant Peach, when the sharks are trying to bite the bottom of the yeah. cage? They can't because of the way their noses are shaped. It seems like like planes make you out, you'd be coming across the same problem. But anyway, he like, comes out with like comical, big, human lip to style kissy marks, and um, and then like gets dragged back off scene. So you never actually see these planes make out. But meanwhile, in the fucking dog fight, like, right here, a plane with like living, breathing, anthropomorphic faces just ends. Gratuitous violence is always okay. <laughs> Heaven fucking forbid we ever show any goddamn sexuality. That's an old argument with me. Mm -hmm. Don't make any god. It doesn't make any sense. Can't have two planes showing like a little kissy sweet scene, mm -hmm. but you could show, you know, the equivalent of brain matter getting shot out of a fucking airplane. No kissy. Shoot somebody in the face. Got it, future serial killers? Go get them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, really, maybe it was the mechanics of like clink, 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 clink. 
Because like when the when the um, love interest airplane showed up at the um, at the beginning, like sexy Indian voice. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty plane, and we we're like, oh, okay, he's banging the shit out of that plane. And so I was kind of hoping that tank to tank, 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 but no. No, they're not gonna. <laughs> this is playing doggy style. Like, I understand. I, this right here would be playing missionary position. And I should give him wings. Tink, 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 tink. Dink, 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 so dink. Th this dink, is, dink, 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 This is a reverse, reverse fly girl. <laughs> oh my god, you're doing it then. <laughs> I'm allowed to. <laughs> you don't see him coming, it's right out of that field. Bam, I get you with the pun, because I hate him. That's why they're funny. Dink, dink, dink. Sorry. <laughs> that was a music mess up with the sound effects. This play, this, this plane, this movie didn't really have much going for it, but it was uh, kind of cute. There were some kids in, in the way, way back. They fell asleep before the movie was over. They so the parents were like, this is really dumb. We get to leave. That, could, that cheered me up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I was bit. feeling bad because they were chit-chatting, but I don't think they nah, really gave two shits. they didn't give two fucks. They were sitting all the way in the back. The kids were probably asleep 30 minutes into the movie. I know I felt like going to sleep. This, this movie was obviously a direct-to-DVD. So you saw Cars 2. I've seen Cars and Cars 2. Would, and where would you put this, planes. like, hierarchy, like, quality-wise? Planes better or worse than Cars 2? Better or worse than Cars? Because it didn't have Tomater in it. You can give it that much. And it didn't have Steve McQueen. It gets Lightning bumped McQueen. up to Cars, Planes, and Cars 2. Just for that one reason that there is no Larry the Cable Guy in that, and he just really gets on my nerves. Mm -hmm. However, this movie is by no stretch of the imagination good. You know, I'm I'm basically putting a slightly like a glittery piece of shit on top of another piece of shit. It's still crap. But anyway, glittery. But glittery at least. Uh, like this, this movie is really. Dumb, just hokey, I guess. I kind of found it a little hokey. It was extremely hokey. Um, there is this one scene where they're flying through the Himalayas, right? And this entire goddamn movie, Crappie is afraid to get high, fly up. He's afraid, He's of, afraid of heights. He's afraid of heights. He's a cop duster. You can't get it. Yeah, no, that didn't even get two, just the one. <laughs> Smack me in the face with that one. Get out of here. Um,. And so they're flying through the Himalayas. You would imagine as a plane, you'd probably want to fly over the fucking things. But nope, Skippy McDoodoo was decides to go inside. Well, it's because sexy lady plane tricked him. It was because sexy lady plane plane tricked him. Yeah. So he's following this railroad track through it, and there's a tunnel. <laughs> and so he flies through the tunnel. He's going diagonal or some stupid nautical term that they were throwing all over this. I don't, yeah, I don't understand know. half of the stuff they said in this movie. Uh, like or aeronautical. Ex executed a, whatever. a perfect turn wise. Yeah. That's, half axle. So he went half cocked. Radial definition. <laughs> he, he goes into the tunnel half cocked. And so waiting for that. That's why he said it like two or three times. Right into that tunnel half cocked. So anyway. So anyways, he goes in half cocked. And uh, like as he's flying through it, there's a train coming, of course. Mm -hmm. And so he's flying through. You see the train. The train sees him. The train's like, shit. It hits the brakes. And he's flying in. And it goes like this. And it goes like this. And it goes like this. And then it whites out. I thought the movie broke when it. When the I honestly out. did too. Like, what happened? It's kind of like, <gasps> like then, it, <gasps> it, it, it just whited out. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure we both had a moment of, wait, what? And then. Oh my god, the movie's over. Yeah, woo, that was easy. And then it, it comes back, and they're showing this very serene, very, very, uh, very pretty area. It's kind of like a Nepalese sort of temple-y. Yeah. But populated with. Forklifts like you have in Nepal, and uh, forklifts with fuzzy hats. Sorry. I guess I guess the forklifts are the everyday man in this. I don't fucking. Mm -hmm. know. They're doing like Nepalese throat singing, which I thought was a little weird. <laughs> Welcome to Nepal, my friend. You have won this part of the race. I want to do that. <laughs> um, anywho, um, he flies in, and they're like, well, "Yeah, 
Like, well, where is everybody? Am I dead? No, you're just first this particular time. Hooray! How in the fuck did we just go from half cock plane versus speed, a train to I'm first? That's how the movie progressed. Like that, it's the most obvious. I just had a theory. Go on. Okay, he died there, and the rest of the movie is like the last seconds before he died. Just like in his mind. Prove it. Prove it. We we're missing a chunk of time. Um, he gets the girl. Well, you already know that the movie's not afraid to kill a motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. So he, like he died, and like well, I've got that same theory about Wild the Heart, and I've been told that I think that I'm probably overthinking. But anyway, um, yeah, he died, smashed into the train, and the rest of the movie is just like him flashing, like, oh no, what if I hadn't died and won the race? That would've been so great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fucking. I guess that's as good as explanation as anyone's gonna get. All right, Sarah figured it out. Turns then, out he fucking died. Or possibly they just didn't care enough to show us. <laughs> just like, yeah, we don't know how we got out. To but he's first now. Shit. Uh, uh I'm out of stuff. There's this another movie thing I was going kinda... to mention. You know, I'm pretty sure they're they're gonna come out with some other stupid one. Aren't trains. They? Like, we know we know there's trains now in this universe. Yeah. The creepy ass Thomas the Tank Engine trains. That was he. He was a little creepy. He was incredibly creepy. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's uh, are there train are there train, are there train, train races? No. How the hell are you gonna do a train race when there? Maybe he could be like a circus train. And what like, I think. Trying to like. Okay, sorry. I was gonna. I'm sorry. I was gonna say since they always. All these movies within the Cars universe always evolve some kind of stupid ass race, whether it be NASCAR number one, okay, European thing number maybe? two. They could do like I'm this. thinking jet skis. <laughs> and the name of the next movie, what? all right? The name of the next movie is going to be called Jet Setter. All right, and it's going to be about this. It just be called going, Jet Skis. No, it's going to be called Jet Setter because okay. the movie is actually going to be about this swan paddle boat who has a heart of gold, <laughs> all right, and he really wants to win the race. And nobody's going to tell this little paddle boat no. Not even his friend, not even his super best friend, and not even the crotchety old tugboat who I'm going to name <laughs> Grandpa Tuggers. All right, so Grandpa Tuggers is going to be the one who ends up teaching the paddle boat how to do all this and then the entire movie is going to be that we'll insert you know, snooty British guy what the fuck nah what other kind of ethnicities we'll just throw in some uh, you're a Spanish person we why not Eskimo, yeah. we could do an Eskimo oh yeah throw in an Eskimo fuck it go nuts a little Smobile who really likes water fuck it I'd go nuts who you know cause at this point who really gives a goddamn? you guys aren't fucking trying there's no goddamn point it's gonna be the cute little swan boat versus these vicious ass jet skis. And it's gonna be called Jet Sitter. I'd probably go see that. I, I would be forced to go see it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy about it. I'm just amused at the concept of a movie where there's jet skis but no people driving. Where would you put the eyeballs on a jet ski? Like, where would you, you, you put put them on like. A handle? <laughs> 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 just huge <laughs> buggy bacon Just like these huge, just giant dead eyes. Just kill me. <laughs> Turn. <laughs> yes. The world of the jet ski races. You either win by the waves or you drink the water. Jet set. I don't know how that, what, I don't know, how do you talk smack in the jet ski world? It's like I got the concept nothing. of having a swan paddle boat, but instead of making the swan head, his head put eyeballs like on the neck and it's Well, yeah, you gotta make him look something like the jet skis. So maybe he was like this. They're like the dead little <laughs> plastic swan eyes, and then the people eyes like right above or below them. No, 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 what you need to do is just get the giant people eyes on it, right? And then put the soulless dead swan eyes in the side of it <laughs> yeah just like floating just like middle. just here just sometimes on set they'll be looking at you sometimes they'll be wee -hee! <laughs> sometimes one will just fall the fuck out oh, that'd be great tink 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 tink, tink, tink. Or, splash, or splash no 
that was my optic radar eyeball. Now how am I going to get through this race? Execute a barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, you should probably be in the air before you do the barrel roll, you stupid ass swan boat. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's how I learned lessons, guys. He's got moxie. He's got him. so much moxie. Him and Grandpa Tuggers. They both. It turns out that Grandpa Tuggers was the great tugboat horse of 89. <laughs> Oh, fuck, it, let's get really just old school on it. Give him like a big Mark Twain <laughs> mustache. Just make him like one of the old uh, Silver War, like the old Ironsides kind of thing. Why the <laughs> fuck not? Okay, they're going to make this exact movie like. I know, and I'm going to be really mad. It's this summer 2016. Jet Setter. God Jet damn Center. it! Motherfucker! They're making money on my idea! Dicks. <laughs> Did you enjoy Jet Setter? <laughs> yes. That's a oh, way. It's the big googly <laughs> dead eyes and it's Grandpa Tuggers. I knew I'd, I knew I'd win you with Grandpa Tuggers. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to have him voiced by Academy Award winner Denzel Washington. Wilford Brimley. Or Wilford Brimley. Diabetes. That's like literally Diabetes. the only thing that I think that Wilford Brimley says. Like in Diabetes. The, uh, it's, it's a walrus. Oh, oh, a Grand walrus of diabetes. Is the, what my brain file has for Wilfred Brimley. What you need to do, Artie... Oh, Artie is the name of the swamp boat. Oh, okay. What you need to do, Artie, is do a barrel roll over the flaming diabetes! Diabetes! Is that how you imagine it going? Cause that is way more emotion and uh, right, effort. I'm sorry. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What, I'm sorry. what you need to do, Artie... What you, what you need to do is when you go up the ramp and you hit the flaming hula hoop, I'm going to need you to do a barrel roll diabetes. Artie Farty Swan Boat. Artie the Farty <laughs> Swan Boat. Because farts are funny. <laughs> See, he doesn't have an engine like all the jet setters. This is what's jet skis. This is what sets him apart. He has it with sure pedal power. <laughs> but who's Paddling. He's paddling. Okay, who's he's driving the? Flipping. Who's flying these planes? Who's driving these cars? They are. Fuck it. Why not? Why not make a paddle boat? Figure out how to paddle himself. Because if not, it's a very lonely world where all the humans left in this theory that you're talking about, and all the poor little paddle boats are stuck in the middle of the water, just kind of floating around in a goddamn circle. Cause I they miss got people. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> No couples are kissing at me. Nobody's playing the guitar trying to serenade somebody. Times are hard. <laughs> Times sure are hard, Ernie. Okay, so... All the other swan paddle boats shot themselves in just sheer loneliness, so Artie's the only paddle boat left. He... I think they'd have to shoot each other. All right, other you know what? Cause... I'm getting dark with this. Yeah, poor little swan boats. Still... <laughs> It seems like Grandpa Tuggers though isn't obnoxious enough. You need like an obnoxious. Uh, oh no, the obnoxious character. the obnoxious comes as his well-meaning but stupid friend. Oh okay. Also a swan boat or? No, he's going to be a John boat because we need a fucking redneck in this. I don't know thing. what a John boat is. It's like one of uh, like the the typical green boat. Oh, okay, I like that kind of mo yeah, motor like a fishing, a fishing kind of thing. That John boat. I'm sure they're called something different. Just got Google eyes. I grew up on the, the farm. It's a fucking John boat, as okay. far as I know. His name could be John boat. No. John. His name boat. needs to be something dumber than that. It needs to be boat. John. John boat Diddley. I don't fucking know. <laughs> boat Diddley. You just named him. All right, his name is Boat Diddley. Okay, See, these fucking things are not hard to come up with. I think this is this flight of fancy has gone on a bit too long. Um, so, final thoughts? Uh, is, I, I didn't like it. No, um, no es bueno. No es bueno, indeed. It's... Yeah. It's stupid. There were some voice actors that I thought did an okay job, but for the most part it was just... It was boats. I mean, planes. <laughs> I mean, cars. It was whatever the shit we just watched. Jet Setter. Jet, jet Setter. You're not saying it right. I'm sorry. Jet Setter. We got the Muppets 2 
Yeah, we got the Muppets too. I preview. hadn't seen that. I didn't realize they were making it. I, did, I didn't either. That one honestly surprised me. That was the first time I've ever seen that. That's good news. It's got Tina Fey in it. And uh, I think I saw Lucy. Who's my favorite? He brought the paper towels. New Zealand. He's the one that brought the paper towels <laughs> in the Great Muppet Caper. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's my favorite on account of the paper tiles, bring it. Uh, but it's, it looks like it's got little whistling dude, no Jason Siegel, which is too bad, and Amy, Amy Adams, is that her name? Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty, but she doesn't look like she's in this one Yeah, either. the other one that Ricky Gervais. Yeah, Ricky Gervais. Who with uh, Tina Fey, who's the other one? It kind of looked like the Frenchie guy from The Artist. That's what I thought. But I don't, like, I don't know his name to recognize it, so I don't know. This is OSS 77 guy. French James Bond send off. No, 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 I know what oh, you okay. meant. It just, I don't know his name. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, I think it was that guy, which I can see him doing well in a Muppet movie. Yeah, it was, in fact, that guy. Why the fuck not? Uh, then, and yeah, just all the. F yeah, all this, I've seen all the. Stupid Frozen movie again. I'm so sick of that snowman. Seen that, and Cloudy. Uh, which still made me giggle. Oh, I can <laughs> There's a leak in the boat. <laughs> That was my favorite one. Can I give it when the, that watermelon is fighting the dad for the sardines? Just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I like these too. No, no, no. <laughs> adorable. That movie's going to be adorable. I, yeah, like, I like Cloudy. I really do. It's for somebody who hates puns as much as I do, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs is still freaking awesome. Yeah, so I'm excited for that one. Excited for Muppets. Frozen, not so much. Frozen, stupid. Walking with dinosaurs. That that might be pretty. You know? Bears. Oh yeah, we got bears. bears. Disney's bears. Disney's following some bears through the Arctic for no reason, but they're adorable. Oh, so cute. It's like cute. a mama bear and two baby bears, and they're like riding on her back and rolling down a hill and getting wet and making being sad about it. And there's like a wolf, and the mama bear smacks it in the face and it runs away. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they put that wolf up to it. Yeah, I think it was kind of like a go, go see if you can get the go, bears. Here, go piss off the bears. I don't want it. I don't, we travel in packs, you stupid scientist. <laughs> there's good. no such, there's really no, I mean, there is, but really, I mean, ideally, wolves do not, they're not really the lone wolf kind of thing. They're not. It might have been a coyote. It might have been a coyote dog. It was kind of big to be a coyote, though. Yeah, it was just, just like sort of a. Doggy, it wolfy, been a, coyote. It attacked the bear, but the bears. It was. It was. Easily. It was like around the bear, and the mama bear got mad, and just uh -huh. kind of roared and scared it away. But again, wolves hunt in packs, not one random wolf. Like, what's going on over here with these big ass bears? <laughs> one big ass bear. And two <laughs> oh, there's a really big bear. Run. Fluffy paw little bears. Uh, I want one so bad. Have you seen the video of that baby panda online? Apropos of nothing, but there's like a big panda. The that sneezy one. No, this this is like a new one. It's like this big and like fucking on its paw. I I I've kind of handled the amount of cute that I can handle <laughs> for the day. Is walking Suffice it to say, it is a baby panda on the internet, and it's sucking its paw. It's freaking adorable, and they gave the mama like a stuffed Bluetooth baby panda to play <laughs> with while they stole her baby to like feed it stuff. So it's just kind of like carrying this. <laughs> freaking thing. humans are such dicks. <laughs> I oh, don't understand look why. Look at the miracle of life, and he'll switch Rooney. <laughs> It makes sense with pandas because they're hard to raise in captivity, but I don't understand the point of making it Bluetooth. <laughs> this fake panda they gave the mom. Know. Like, so it's Wi Fi could pet? I don't know. Like, so maybe. she could surf the web? I don't <laughs> Fucking people are stupid. I don't know. But uh, my final thought is pandas are cute, airplanes are dumb, Dusty St. Clair yes. is a very obscure Simpsons reference. What do you got? <laughs> I was proud of myself for that. You <laughs> should be. It's, it, it actually took me a second when you first said that. I was like, that sounds from... Wow! That is an old... Oh, I'm so proud of you right yeah, now. I'll well done. What well do you got? Done. The fucking nothing. I've said my piece about this piece of shit. I, don't thought. watch it. Jet setter. I get patent pending. 